Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to have your Mindflare bot interact with chat in Python. Now we're kicking off where we left off last episode with our 07 color bot. Moving on, this is going to be our first beginner-esque tutorial past kind of the getting started phase of this. This is going to be quite simple. We're just going to be looking at how to add chat interaction. Some basic example of this is when our bot logs in, we're going to want it to say hi. And then when we say the keyword quit in chat and our bot quits, we're going to want it to say goodbye to us. And we also add some quick features. If you've ever played around with any tutorial that's anything to do with the random library in Python, you're going to know how to use Rendit already. If you don't, just read what I wrote here and you should understand how it works. And this is going to let us implement two very simple functions in flipping a coin and rolling a dice. Now, I do want to quickly mention here that this is a new event listener. So as always down here, we needed to add it down in this. So we're just off self bot spawn, spawn. And that's going to be it for this week. It's very simple for this beginner tutorial. We're just looking at basic implementations of bot.chat. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's take a look at what it looks like in practice. All right, and taking a look here, we're just going to start the bot. We're going to go to our client. You're going to see when it logs in, it's going to say hi. We're only going to type flip a coin in chat here. And then, yeah, we're just going to type flip a coin. It'll say tails or heads, you know, randomly. Uh, and then we can do roll a dice. It'll do one to six very easily. If we type quit, it'll say goodbye before leaving. That's it for this tutorial. As always, at the top of the description, you'll find a link to all the code that I use for this video. In the middle, you'll find a link to all the references I use to help me make the script shown in this video. And at the bottom, you'll see two different Discord links. One is the Prismarine JS Discord, which is where you can ask for general Mindflare help. And then the other is going to be my personal community Discord, where you can ask for help or if you have any questions relating specifically to these tutorials. That's it. Cheers.